Until now. so it's okay. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. I suppose that's one lesson we can take away from this case. the threshold of an amazing adventure. I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, flowers will grow from the stump. speaks volumes. I fucking knew you were the culprit. Wait just a minute. None of that is possible. Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. When are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? Were you really together the whole time? Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. So that's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro! No! Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone! Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction! didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Security sensor on the bookcase. It was Shuichi, right? Yeah, Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? 
No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Hmm? A, a lie? Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor to make the security alarm go off. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker! The security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time! The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake! Security sensor was armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered. It. No, that's wrong. Wait a minute. This is weird. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then we wouldn't have been able to take that picture. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. Oh, that? Easy to explain. Well, you see... Uh... I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. You're giving up that easily? Yeah... I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken in. So you see? Shuichi can't be the culprit! Now wait just a minute. The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's gonna check the basement, he actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. Uh, how needlessly complicated. But I guess it's not impossible. Then, Shuichi really is the culprit? <laughs> so the ultimate detective is the killer. 
What a plot twist! Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? Shuichi, please say something. Why aren't you saying anything? Shuichi, what's wrong? You're not culprit, are you? Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. Are you okay with being the culprit? Are you ready to turn yourself in? over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. But he had it turned off. And so when Rantaro moved the bookcase, a picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer, Shuichi hid in the library and murdered the shit out of Rantaro! And then, he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase and returned to the lookout spot. Afterwards, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. Praise be to Atua! We've solved this case! Thanks to Riki, we get amazing power. Over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Shuichi also had the receiver. Let's turn this lie into the truth. Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Forgot? To tell you the truth. It was me. I had the receiver. Huh? So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Is this true, Kaede? Uh, of course! Come on, would I lie to you guys? That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. 
Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meat bags. That is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. Like less than three? Those kinds of calculations? It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant love. Doing anything for the one you love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? <laughs> I most certainly have, at least. How creepy you are! I'm sure that person didn't want your love! Kaede and Shuichi are pretty buddy-buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kaede just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. A talented liar like me can spot other people's lies easily. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe Kaede? Um, I do want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now, which is classic degenerate male behavior. Yeah, I agree. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Yeah, this ain't right! I agree! But I don't know if Ottawa agrees. Cause right now it's his nap time. This is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split, right down middle. Hold on! Split? Did you just say split? You did! I heard it! I heard it with my belly button microphone! So wait, your ears don't do anything? The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own More Phenomenal Trial Grounds! More Phenomenal Trial Grounds? The trial Grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally want to see that!
You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Gota! But Mew's silent about intervals, too. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito! Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi had the receiver, it could have been disguised. Kibo! Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it! We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. You have to believe me! Shuichi is not the culprit! If we vote for Shuichi, we'll be making the wrong choice! And if that happens, everyone will be executed! I definitely won't let that happen, even if it costs me my life! Kaede... Yeah, it's just like Kaede said! Shuichi ain't the culprit! Gonta believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in friends. Well, if Shuichi's not our culprit, then who is? We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Shuichi. Even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It's because you realized something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. <laughs> I thought so. Shuichi. Answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please, face the truth. The picture. Picture? The picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door, just before the murder. I always thought it was suspicious. The way Rantaro was acting. Hmm? What's suspicious? If you look at the picture, it looks like Rantaro is trying to remove the camera. But that must mean he noticed the camera we set up. That's true. But when did he notice that? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. This picture was taken when Rantaro moved the bookcase. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. So he tried to remove it. That's when the bookcase closed. The sensor was triggered and that's when this picture was taken. If that is the case, we must find the reason why he noticed the camera. Use on everyone! Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! I've been contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? And the answer is in this picture. I get 
get it. Because of the flash, right? The flash? Yes. The flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. But how can you tell the flash went off? Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have. Remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when I removed the front camera. This is the picture from when I removed the rear camera. And this is the picture of Rantaro. Whoa! The brightness is totally different! Same room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there is a disparity in brightness. Because only the camera aimed at the hidden door had the flash turned on. What was the purpose of leaving the flash on? Especially since it was meant to be hidden. A mistake, maybe? It's no mistake. There was an objective here. That camera was placed for another reason. Another reason, huh? I get it! The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. But the culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. Hey, Kaede? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting kind of strange. Strange? Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. Do you know who the culprit is? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. Hmm? Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Isn't that right, Shuichi? The culprit of this incident is... No doubt about it. Well, this is as far as it goes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get to the mastermind. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry, Rantaro. I'm sorry, Shuichi. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already, right? But you can't do that. It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to. I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone. Kaede, I know what you want me to do. so cool. It's cool, but... I understand. I'll do it. You 
can trust me. 